Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank God for this time that he has given us and I welcome you to this program. God is good and he gives us life and he gives us an opportunity to interact with his word and therefore let us commit ourselves in a moment of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for every opportunity that you give us to interact with your word and in this program of finding God, we pray that Lord you enable us to find you because that is life for us. It is everything good that we desire as human beings to continue living and working for you. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, God gives us an opportunity to interact with his word. And he desires that we find him. And when we find him, it's life. And so we appreciate God for this time that he is giving us. I am the very reverend Erida de Milton Shisa. I am the servant of God at St. Andrew's Cathedral, Mbale Diocese. And I appreciate God for this program of finding God. And GNPI gives us an opportunity to keep doing this every moment. And when we find God is everything that we require. Now, I have looked through God's the scriptures. That's God's word. The choice can be yours to begin anywhere to find God. And so I have chosen a scripture that we are beginning with in finding God, and that is Jeremiah chapter 29. And we are reading a few verses. But if you have the time, you can begin from verse 1 and read on. But look at verse 13. Of course, actually, people rush always to verse 11, that I have plans, I have better plans for you, and things like that. And they stop there. But let us read on. Because okay, that's part of the scriptures that we keep engaging with. Now, about finding God. And in verse 13, the Bible says, this is God speaking, that you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me. And with all your heart, I will be found by you, declares the Lord. And I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord. And I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. Now, friends, God gives us a promise of seeking him and finding him. And the reason why we emphasize it and say, Lewis, look, we go into it. We dive deeply into it because actually God has given us an opportunity to seek him and he promises that okay, when you seek me you will find me and so seeking God finding him is the whole difference in one's life and so God is not hidden it is up to us it's up to you it's up to me be it young be it old be it female, be it male, be it African, be it everyone, that when you seek me, you'll find me. And so the reason why we devote time, because he gives us an opportunity to get to him, and as we progress, you'll find that actually there are nice, abundance things that actually we require and that we acquire from God. And so God gives us an opportunity, friends, Everywhere that you are, God gives you an opportunity that if you seek me, you'll find me. And he told this to the people of Israel, those very many years back. And the word of the Lord remains the same, yesterday, today, and forever. And so when he has given us an opportunity to look for him and find him, and that's his life. And so friends, it is beneficial. It's a benefit to you. It's a benefit to me. It's a benefit to anyone and to everyone. And so... I want to just give a number of other, you know, other examples. There, is, there are people that in the Bible that we keep talking about and they give us an example. As they sought him, they found him and life was well with them. And who doesn't want good life? Who doesn't want abundant life? Who doesn't want treasures? Who doesn't want that which God gives us. And so I just want the very first one, the person that I want to mention here is a king in Israel. And this king was called King Uzziah. And I just want to mention a few things about King Uzziah. And we read from Second Chronicles chapter 26 and um, 
verses 4 and 5. Second Chronicles is in the Old Testament Bible. And this is what the Bible says. Second Chronicles chapter 26, verses 4 and 5. And the Bible says, from verse 4, the Bible says that, and he did what was right. Remember, I've just been mentioning the king, King Uzziah. And he says that he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. Remember, he did what was pleasing to God. And then in verse 5, this is what the Bible says. He set himself to seek, seek God in the days of Zechariah, who instructed him in the fear of the Lord. Seeking God. And this is what he gained. That as long as, as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. And for me, this is the whole difference in life. And because uh, this was a king, and the Bible says that actually he became king at just but 16 years, meaning that actually this portion of scripture addresses even those that are young, adolescents, young people. Now you see this man, Uzziah, became king when he was just 16. And so it addresses even the young ones. And as he grew on, he continued actually serving the Lord. And so the point that I'm making in seeking and finding God is actually, this is the point that actually this king, Uzziah, sought and found God. And in everything that he did, the Bible is saying that actually God made him prosper. And actually these days, we have everything that actually we look for before God. During that time, Amaziah, I mean Uzziah, was doing the same. And many, many people have gone out to look for prosperity. And sometimes it becomes in vain. Because when we deviate from God, things backtrack. But then the point that actually this King Uzziah is showing us is that actually as long as he sought the Lord, the Lord prospered him. Now, are you over there? Young man, age 16. Okay, even below that. Age 20, age 30, age 50 and above. Every, everyone seeking the Lord is prosperity. And we have examples of men and women in the Bible that have done this thing and they have gone on and did great exploits and they have survived themselves and they have enriched themselves and have gained glory. And one of the young people that actually gives us a good example as well is Joseph in the Bible, a young man, a young person. And because he stuck to obeying and following the instructions that God wants, even when he went through difficult times, different bends in life, he remained focused on the fear of the Lord. So our desire, friends, during such a time, during our moment in this generation, when things go bad, things don't go right, Uzziah at this stage sets us an example, seeking the Lord and we expand ourselves. Of course, I could have talked about several people in the Bible, and we shall keep talking about them in this program of seeking God. We have talked about Jabez because he sought the God and he cried, God, expand my territory. And who doesn't want to do that? Who doesn't want expansion of one's territory? Or you go to school for, you know, for your future. You go to do business for your, you know, for your good time. You know, you marry. You desire this. Prosper in everything that you do. And doing that, the Bible is saying that Uzziah knew the secret. But the danger came later on when he grew, you know, proud and things, you know, meaning actually backtracking from seeking the Lord, there are adverse effects that come. And from verse 16, we see that actually King Uzziah again became proud and things did not go well with him because actually he left seeking the Lord and things did not go right. So friends, if we deviate from God, from seeking God, from finding God, things don't go right. But if we stick ourselves to seeking and finding God, the whole difference comes. And here, King Uzziah gives us an example in these portions of scripture. And so friends, my brothers and sisters, finding God is success, finding God is prosperity, finding God is wellness. We have talked about wellness many, many times, many, many places, and we desire 
wellness in our bodies, wellness in our economy, wellness in our family, and seeking God. And so I plead with everyone. I plead with myself and my family and your family, wherever you are, seeking God. And just like Uzziah did, everything went well with him. And so friends, connected today, I just want to bring to you one of the very common Psalms that actually we keep reading and it speaks volumes. I treasure it and you will treasure it as well. And this is Psalm 34 verses 8 to 10. And now this, verse, this, this is what the psalmist says. Oh, test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge, who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no lack. Those who fear him have no lack. And verse 10, that the young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Now, friends, this is the point that we shall continually be keep making to all of you, to everyone, that seeking the Lord, that is the whole. Because okay, God is everything good. And in one of our creeds, we say, I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And since God is the creator of heaven and earth, he supplies everything good for his people. And God desires the best. Seeking him, finding him, we have no luck. And so we desire that we shall remain in the presence of the Lord, and you will remain in the presence of the Lord. And so this Psalm 34, test and see. And in some languages, actually they have even made songs out of it. Test and see that the Lord is good. And we, this is what we are appealing, that actually in finding God, just do that, test and see that the Lord is good. And lacking nothing is the point. And so we discover, friends, that actually God remains our Father, He remains our God, finding Him. Without Him, we are nothing, but with Him, everything is of a difference. So God distributes good gifts. He distributes honor. He distributes justice. He distributes righteousness. Listen to me. Everyone in life seeks for these things. And the only and proper source that will be sustainable is seeking and finding God. Yes, the world will give you this, will give you this, this gifts that we're talking about. Yes, we can try, study, work hard. Yes, we appeal to ourselves to work hard, to study hard, to do everything in a wise way. But seeking God will add a great and great everything that we need in our life. So friends, this is the point that God will supply us. And so God gives us the gifts and these are the purest of all the gifts that God provides. Like we read in Proverbs 18, Proverbs 8, 17 to 31, that actually those who search him find him and he provides riches and honor. Those who love him inherit wealth. And so my brothers and sisters, this is important. This is very critical in finding God and the reason why I keep repeating find God and honor will come find God even in in the poverty we have seen people who are poor but they have remained themselves trusting God and you you see them walking gracefully you know mentioning things that are graceful and God supplies their needs. And the reason why people give testimony, because they have found God and they supplied them. Their children have gone to school. They have successful marriages. They have successful businesses. And it is our desire that your, your business succeeds, your marriage succeeds, your education progresses, and everything that you do, you attain blessing. And the blessing that comes from above is the most ideal. And so friends, this is the point. Success is linked to finding God. Success is linked to finding God. I repeat the same thing. Success is linked to finding God. Now, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, 33, very common verse, 
many many people quote it and i also quote it here seek first the kingdom of god seek first the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added unto you meaning that seeking and finding god is all a success and also added added call it bonus i am looking for bonus from god and therefore i strive you also ought to strive young or old whoever you are you need to strive and seek ye first the kingdom of god and in finding god we emphasize this and all these things will be added unto you we have seen men and women that have sought god faithfully talk about solomon in the bible when god asked him for what he wanted he answered i need one thing wisdom and god said wow this is great and all of us actually need wisdom because okay, that is practicability you are able to make wise decisions and then god added a beautiful you know you know statement that even those things that i have not been able to ask i add you because you need to ask for yourself long life you need to ask for yourself riches you did but you ask for the fear of the lord and god added all these things and the bible does mention that actually solomon was the wisest and the richest and he remained outstanding maybe even up to date because at that time he did what he was able to do and so my brothers and sisters god who calls you that seek me and you'll find me is that god actually that will provide for your need and so this seek ye first we emphasize it and during especially during this generation where people have gone into their own things the world is fully derailed into their own things but what are we saying we're saying those who remain faithful remain faithful yes we read in revelation that actually even when people deviate and then god actually went goes again and said those who are faithful remain faithful those who are righteous remain righteous but listen i am coming soon and so when he comes he comes to bless us variously and abundantly and so friends this is actually this is critical this is important this is for you and this is for me that we do something that actually god desires for us and seek him fast and all these things will be added unto us now everything will change in god's presence in god's direction when you find him it makes the whole difference i'm reminded also of the book of amos chapter 5 verses 4 to 6 and in this amos the bible which is god's word and remember christians are called the people of the book and therefore we cannot we cannot mention anything without making reference to this holy book and so we are the people of the book and so this is what amos chapter 5 verse 4 says and he says that for that say the lord the house to the house of israel seek me and live but do not seek bethel and do not enter into gilgal or cross over to the beersheba for gilgal shall surely go into exile and bethel shall come to nothing now verse 6 he repeats seek the lord and live lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph, and it devour with none to quench it for Bethel. Now, you can read on, but the point that are bringing out here, seek me and live, so says the Lord. And the people that sought the Lord lived. And we have seen men and women go through challenges like we do. We have seen men and women go through fires, but they have survived. They have, because of that, they have sought the Lord and they have lived. Cases in, in point, Daniel's that we read about in the den of lions, but God enabled him to survive there. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fires, God enabled to survive there. Now, we may not be in that physical fire, but we have our own fires that keep burning us and our faith drops our commitment 
disappears because of the fires that we go through, because of the challenges that we go through. But this is the point that actually Amos is actually telling the people that seek and live. And so for us as Christians also say that actually there is this earthly life, but also we look up into eternal life. That the life that will be eternal where there will be celebration all through in, in the presence of the Lord, in the bosom of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and, Joseph, and, and Jacob, and there we shall be living abundantly. No great things that will happen then. And so this is very, very important. When Amos does declare that seek me and you will live, finding God therefore is life. Finding God is living longer. And there are people that have given testimonies about this. Fortunately, that is what we you know we 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 stick ourselves to you know there are people who encourage us by the time testimonies that have given how god has seen them through and the moment we take time to listen to the testimonies that the people give the people that have sought the lord and clearly so they have everything that they need and so friends as we turn to the finish of this program in second chronicles Chapter 16, verses, verse 9, the second bit. I just want to mention about the eyes of God. And this 2 Chronicles 6, 16, 2 Chronicles 16, verse 9 be, that the eyes of the Lord range throughout the world, throughout the earth, you know, to strengthen those who are truly committed to him. This is what the writer says, that the eyes of the Lord run all through the earth run go running ranging all over the world all over the earth that you may be able to see the people or that seek him that are committed to him and so my prayer for you my prayer for everyone is as the eye of the lord goes searching ranging you know flashing looking for those that are committed one of them that are committed that will benefit from what the eye is bringing what the eye of the lord is bringing should be you one of them that should benefit that god should find ready to receive awake with zeal to know him to find him should be me and everyone else that are around me. And the reason why we come to you through this, that actually you, that the eye of the Lord will find you ready. That the eye of the Lord will find you ready to receive. And so I just want to ask you to make a fresh commitment in seeking and finding God so that the glory of the Lord shall shine upon you so that the favor of the Lord shall rest upon you. Find him and his glory will shine upon you. Find him and his favor will rest upon you. And so let your heart remain focused. I know as you get out of your house, as you go through the streets, as you go into, into the garden, you go wherever you are moving about, we keep meandering many, many times, yes, but we need to gather up again and say no. We must stick to this, to the seeking and finding God. And because our life will be delivered. And so because God's presence coming, God's presence being with us is deliverance. God never forsakes us. God never forsakes anyone. And he declares that actually it is us who forsake him. But for him, his eye is always roaming. It's always rotating to find anyone that is committed. To him and so my brothers and sisters may the god who has started this good journey in you enable you to continue seeking him and stay there and so that actually you receive his glory his favor his that he prospers you in everything that you do in your family in your house at your workplace in your garden and everywhere that you go. Because okay, this is abundance. That seek me and you'll find me. Know me and that's life. And that's what God says. And may he continue with you in your daily engagements. And so that everything goes on well. We desire the best for everyone. I desire the best for you. Seek the Lord. 
find him and live. And so we all seek him, find him, and we live because he is our life in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.